CataractCoach.com. Posterior capsule rexus technique. So opening a scarred posterior capsule and inserting the lens. This is a tough technique, but it's something that's important to learn. So our guest surgeon here is Dr. Sabino Rolim from Brazil. And you can see here at the end of the case, the capsule bag is empty, and there's a lot of scarring on that posterior capsule. Now, you could just put the eye oil in the eye and then let it heal up for a month or two and then do a YAG laser capsulotomy, but let's show you this instead. So first thing is poking in with a sharp needle to try start it. Now, importantly, injecting some dispersive viscoelastic, a small amount, to separate the anterior highlight face from the posterior capsule, from the back side of the posterior capsule. And now you can go in again using the needle to try to cut around this area. And we do want to still make it continuous and curvilinear. So you don't want to just have a random jagged posterior capsule opening. You want to have a capsular rexus of the posterior capsule. So notice the two-handed technique, one hand, the left hand to give some traction, the right hand to cut the capsule. Now you can use micro forceps to grab that capsule, and he's going to encompass or encircle that posterior capsule opacity or plaque, that fibrotic area. In general, you probably want to aim for about a four millimeter posterior capsular rexus. In some ways, it's a little bit easier to tear than an anterior capsular rexus, because remember, the capsule that you're working on is bowl-shaped instead of dome-shaped like the anterior capsule would be. Now, with this fibrotic area, you've got to be careful because you can get it to run out very quickly, and you don't want to have that situation. So in doing this, if the posterior capsule does open wide up, you can still put in a three-piece lens with the haptics in the sulcus and the optic captured behind the anterior capsular rexus. But in this case, we're going to show you something even neater, which is putting the eye well still in the capsular bag. So now you can see the persistence has paid off, and he's able to create that round, continuous, curvilinear capsular rexus in the posterior uh, capsule using those forceps and fully encompassing that scarred area. Look at that. That is just beautiful. Now, certainly when you're doing this, adjust your microscope settings so you can uh, highlight the red reflex to give a little bit better contrast and visibility. So almost done with the finishing it up. And you can see the anterior capsule rex is about five millimeters, and this looks like it's going to be about four. So that's just about perfect. So key here is patience. And remember, you can always add more viscoelastic. If you're using larger gauge forceps, be careful not to shallow out the AC. You don't want to collapse the AC and have vitreous prolapse. So now there it is, a little more vis viscoelastic going in to open the capsule bag. So think about it. The capsule bag now is like, the, uh, like an empty car tire. It's just a rim of tissue. And so here now, the leading haptic going in the capsule bag. Here comes the optic going in nice and gently. Beautiful technique. And I'm going to dial in that trailing haptic. Now, I do like the choice of a three-piece lens here because if there are any issues, it's very easy to adjust those haptics. Put them in the sulcus, do optic capture, whatever else you want to do. And now let's see this technique here. Dial in that trailing haptic. So fixating the eye and using the other hand to get it dialed right in. And now you've got the entire lens beautifully positioned in the capture bag. So this is not in a sulcus. There is no optic capture. It's right in the bag. Thanks for watching these videos. And remember to go to cataractcoach.com and sign up for a free daily email. We'll send you an email every day with a great video like this and other surgical pearls that'll make you a better surgeon.